It's Marine Kush here, bringing you a cast on Shatter Temple. It's going to be a game between Fnatic Phoenix and EG's Idra. So a nice little TVZ for you. This is from Day 3 of EG Masters Cup. It is a best of three, but uh, this game is pretty epic. Uh, so I've heard, I actually haven't watched it, but uh, tons of downloads on this one. So I expect it to be pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, just preferring to grab these replays off uh, uh, gamereplays.org and... Um, yeah, just do some blind casts. I prefer it as towards, you know, just watching it and then trying to act surprised when something cool happens. But, yeah, so we have uh, close air positions here. And uh, looks like Idra will be going for a hatch first, 15 hatch. Nothing new there. Um, close air, that's not, not a bad choice. Um, definitely, I think Idra favors the 15 hatch no matter what positions they are. But definitely, these ones aren't too bad. It's going to be worried more about that airplay as we do see the gas going down for Phoenix. So any sort of drop, Hellion drop, or Banshee play will be more um, heavily weighted as part of the strategy here for Phoenix, most likely, as you want to take advantage of this short gap here. And, uh, yeah, let's get the production tab up. And looks like we have a pool going down for Idra. And going to wait for that gas for some time, maybe just get a Spine Crawler and a couple of Queens to do that defense thing. And um, still not a complete wall of yet, as a Marine is rallied all the way towards... Uh, this base here, so maybe going to be putting a little bit of single racks pressure on. Uh, this can be kind of nice. It can still force uh, the Zerg to pull drones, which is always a good thing. But you can't really expect to get a bunker up um, necessarily. You just don't have the firepower to um, overwhelm those drones at this point in the game. Not without that two racks, so probably just going to be some light pressure. And here's the factory coming down for Phoenix as well. So definitely going to be going for probably some sort of 1-1-1 one, one, one build. Uh, definitely expect that. And here are the drones out to protect this hatchery at the natural. They're going to be trying to do some damage on that marine, forcing it back. Nice thunder step micro there by Phoenix, but uh, definitely that marine is likely to go down. Ooh, nice blocking there by the SV. Very nice micro by Phoenix. Excellent work there. And uh, another drone going to be attacking on that marine. And ooh, very nice pulls him back just a little bit. And lings are out. Just two going to be enough to repel this for now. Second gas on the way for Phoenix. Definitely going to be looking to get some Banshees, if you ask me. Either that or some sort of very fast Siege tech with Metabacks or something, but no, I believe it is going to be Banshees, and I think that'll be quite effective in these positions. Looks like Idra just uh, getting that Zergling speed out and a single drone for now. Let's see if he is stocking up a couple of larva, but uh, not too much. Going to be getting that uh, spine crawler and looking to do some sort of scouting at this point. I like this position here by Phoenix. Going to be able to hold off any number of links below 10 or so. And uh, looks like he wants to keep even more map control. He is moving now. Oh, now I'm going to have to repel. Ooh, picks up one link. Will he get another one? No, he will not. I'm going to have to be satisfied with that one link kill. Hellion on the way out now, as well as a starport with a tech lab. So definitely going to see some Banshee play. Uh, no sign of any sort of command center yet from Phoenix. Not sure if he's looking to do some one base all in, or maybe just trying to do a little bit of damage here and then expand. But uh, ooh, this Hellion's going to get inside, and uh, Spinecrawler picking away at the Marines here. One does go down, and uh, tar trying to target fire that second one, but no, unable to reach it. And now the Queens are going to have to clean up the rest of this. Nice micro there by Phoenix. Exceptional control of these units, just getting so much out of them. Hellion is uh, just kind of standing by here, going to be looking for some drones rows, but uh, more links are on the way, and that Zergling speed is about to finish in about 20 seconds. So, going to be tough to clean this up here, but uh, looks like he's going to have enough units to take care of it. And we see that cloak is coming now for that Banshee. So, let's see if Idra will be prepared yet. Yeah, Lair is on the way. Saw that one Hellion knows exactly what's up. Will we see an Evo Chamber very soon? Most likely just a little bit uh, broke for the moment couple of links now with speed on the way to do some counterattacking, but they'll see that there is no sign of an expansion going up in the natural yet. In fact, they will only be able to see this tech lab, but most likely will see this command center. Overlord, uh, very nice placement here. Unable to be spotted by a Terran player. If you come into this area here above this cliff, it is considered a high ground area, and you do need some sort of sight to see up there. Oh, SCV is forced off the line to uh, repair these these uh, depots. There's no Marines in sight, just totally producing um, right now... Um, production structures and batches as well as the command center so not able to get out any units here is a marine finally out not doing much forcing these SVs to really work hard on these uh, depots here still not doing anything looks like he is focused on dealing with these Banshee over in the main. I should have caught that. Sorry about that. Looks like that uh, Banshee doesn't have any kills and was repelled nicely by Idra. Spire going up now. And looks like he totally skipped out on the Evo Chamber. So not going to be relying on Spores, even though, uh, you know, Cloak is coming down. I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's take a look if he saw that. Uh, whoops. No, he hasn't seen that the Cloak is coming down. So. Yeah, catching Idra a little bit off guard that uh, his opponent Phoenix did, in fact, go for Cloak. So. 
We're gonna be getting out that overseer pretty quickly, and uh, looks like this banshee's gonna be um, just down to about two or three kills. Yeah, there goes the banshee, gonna be forced away now. Oh, coming in for one last kill. Will he go for it? Yes, he will. But uh, he better get out of there quickly. Link down to 32 HP. So leaving with two kills. Uh, not spectacular, but uh, forcing uh, some overseers, which is quite a lot of gas, considering that the spire is almost done. Gonna be wishing he had that for muters. Another banshee here. Uh, gonna be shot down. No, queen not quite fast enough. Ooh, this is a dangerous spot. Going up on that high ground, not gonna be good with his overseer here, and will be getting picked off. There goes the banshee now. And uh, looks like if we take a look at the workers killed. Yeah, 11 killed there. Uh, not too much damage then, but uh, did spend a lot on that uh, cloak tech and kind of delaying this whole marine tank style, which he will probably fall back on now. So uh, you definitely want to get that cloak banshee out in order to help you get that expansion up, but uh, you definitely want to get a few kills as well uh, to kind of make it worth the while getting that sort of expensive tech. Let's go. Viking is out, but won't be too useful as we see... Uh, that uh, the spire is up now, and a uh, couple of overseers maybe going to do some contamination. That would be nice. Looks like there's no mutas out on the field quite yet, but three are in the making. Looks like he definitely spent a lot of money on those, uh, on these two overseers here. I believe it's uh, 150 gas each. Not a Zerg player. I could be wrong. It might be 100 gas. Uh, not too sure. Either way, definitely not as many mutas as we'd normally see coming out from Idra. And uh, that contaminant on that factory is going to be pretty annoying as that tank will be taking quite some time to come out. In fact, there looks like there are no siege tanks out. No, just 12 marines and medevac. And uh, yeah, it could be quite difficult to deal with this muter harass. Should Idra be able to get it up to that 10 to 12 mark uh, reasonably soon? Looks like he is gearing up to take this third gold base, which is uh, a nice choice. Really, Terran can't move out for quite some time. And uh, it looks like he will move out, in fact, but I think he will be stopped short, in fact, by these Lings and Mutas. And uh, no sign of a Baneliness yet for Idra. Uh, Mutas inside. Oh, couldn't pick up that Overseer. Ooh, not the greatest control there from Idra, kind of uh, neglecting to pull that Overseer back. Uh, Mutas trying to get in, but that one is down to six life and going to be wanting to get out and try to regen. No, in fact, all of them moving back in, up to seven Mutas now, picking off this one Viking. Very nice, able to keep that one low health Mutu alive. Stim almost completed, and Siege Mode on the way, but uh, so is this plus one flyer attack for Idra. We see there is the Bane Lee finally going down, because uh, looks like this force is about to move out, and going to be making sure that these mutas do come back, and uh, that's going to be the end of their harass for now. Queen going to get picked off. A uh, few links here out for Idra, but it looks like he only has about uh, 11 links, and in production is 12 more, but that Bane Lee is a little ways to be done still, so this could be a dicey moment here for Idra. Stim coming in, taking down this one spine crawler. Muta's kind of holding back, not wanting to get picked off, forced to use them in the defense. Here come the Lings, but ooh, these Mutas taking a lot of damage. In fact, no! Lings tanking most of the damage, and these Mutas are able to stay alive, pick off those two medevacs, and that is huge for Idra! He is significantly ahead now, if you ask me. Uh, just the way, uh, maybe not in supply, maybe there's only a 9 supply difference there, but the tech of what each opponent is just much stronger for Muta, uh, for Idra. These Mutas going to be very useful, and uh, these Marines can be forced to stay at home for quite some time, and possibly force some... Uh, uh, turret, some static defense. So yeah, as we can see, these Mutas picking off one deep already, forcing a stim here. Mutas are a little bit low on health, a bunch of them are in the orange, but uh, this harass is going to be proved very difficult for Phoenix, as it's going to allow Idra to get up that third base relatively soon. But uh, still low on that money, it was very expensive for him to stop that earlier attack. And uh, one Muta, oh my goodness, that Muta's down to six health. A lot of them in the orange red. Ooh, picking off that tech lab. I believe there's an upgrade on there as well. Here comes the third now for Idra. Finally, 13 minutes. Definitely a little later than he likes to get it. And uh, Phoenix is just completely contained in his base. Not sure what he's planning to do. In fact, he's making a command center. So feeling pretty confident that he can deal with this harass. But uh, I'm not so sure. There go down all the Marines. And only tanks coming out now. Five Marines are in production. But if he uses these Mutas just to hover over these production buildings, this is going to be very difficult for Phoenix to break this. And, uh, you know, three more Mutas on the way. Baneline speed coming as well. So uh, Idra definitely in a commanding lead here. In fact, supply blocking Phoenix right there. More Marines going down. They do sound like they get one Muta, but he's up to... Uh, 13 now. It's a pretty devastating number, uh, despite that many of them are in low health. Just in fact, six of them are at full. The rest are in the red or orange. 
Would not feel too safe right now if I was Phoenix. These uh, Mutas are just too strong. Ooh, two Thors popping out. This is what he's going to need to try and get back in this game. And if they can pop out at a key time when these Mutas are kind of stacked up like this, they could do a lot of damage. Here they are about to pop out. They are split a little bit, stacking slightly. Here they come. Oh, is Idra paying attention? He's going to try a Magic Box. No, he decides to pull out seeing the two Thors. And that's a good decision by Idra as he's now down to 12 Mutas and almost all of them are in the orange and red. Not a lot of health on them at all. So... It's going to be interesting to see if he does go for, uh, to make this move, this command center. He's in morphing it into an orbital and making another command center. It's just minerals are just, uh, shooting up there as he didn't have the production to spend it. So, hmm. Interesting spot here. So, Idris got uh, a lot of mutas now out. Looks like he's up to 16. But, uh, those Thors should do a decent job of holding them off. Ooh, they're going to pick off these two tanks. It's going to be huge for Idra. He's going to feel so confident after picking off those two tanks. Those Thors are nowhere in sight. In fact, they're trying to get there in time, but no. In fact, even going to force that cancel on that fourth command center. It looks like got to get a little bit more saturation going on this gold, but still, uh, if we take a look at the income tab. Ooh, 63 drones to 60 SCVs. So, uh, Phoenix is doing a good job of hanging in there on the economy, but uh, I don't know for how long he can manage to do that. He's just going to have to buy some time, get some upgrades, get more marines out. But uh, it may be too late, in fact. And uh, Ooh, this Thor might get magic boxed and picked up. Whoa, he's going down so fast. Oh, he's just sniped. Just sniped, and that uh, missile turret not able to go down as well. It's unfortunate for Idra. Uh, gonna have to pull back for a little bit, let some uh, health regenerate there. Now, if we take a look, the units up to uh, 20 mutilates, and there's only 20 marines on the field, as well as one Thor. Producing some uh, banelings now, so he may want to turn on the aggression as far as just hitting the front of this base now, not wanting to do any more harass, in fact, just kill his opponent. I completely agree with that decision if he does decide to do it. Uh, he doesn't want to let uh, Terran get uh, turtled up on three base. Doesn't want get, to let him get enough defenses up to prevent that muta harass. Going to want to make those mutas as efficient as possible as long as they are um, up in the re for the rest of the game. Because if you wait too long, mutas kind of become useless later on in the game once those uh, marines get a significant upgrade. They are only at plus one weapons right now, but uh, you never know what happens. You want to really make it count. As he will probably be switching into some sort of brood lord and infestors. We see that infestation pit is now almost done. Maybe teching to hive reasonably soon. And still here using these uh, mutas to pick off these turrets. Ooh, not much as far as defense anywhere. Whole army is back here. Muta's just tearing it up. Will they go for the command center? No, it looks like they're just trying to pick up a few depots. Definitely want to play it safe, but oh my god, it's up to uh, 16, 21 Mutas. That is definitely a very, very high amount of Mutas. I mean, not too much ground forces, but he really doesn't need it right now. He's just forcing Phoenix to stay in his base, using tanks, turrets, you know, forcing him to turtle up very hard. So, pretty standard game so far by Idra. Definitely his classic style, what he likes to do. His fourth is now up. Going to be one of saturating that. And there goes the scan. Going to see that fourth base and going to be very worried as uh, Phoenix doesn't. Let's see. Let's see. He has uh, only 54 SCV. So not really enough to even get a saturation going here on this fourth. Going to definitely want to load up on SCVs here at the goal, but not too many. Uh, looks like he does have about 25, uh, which is probably too many. You really only want to have about 20 on the goal as there's only six patches here. Not sure what Phoenix can do right now. He's pretty much forced to stay in his base. But, uh, ooh, a lot of Banelings now be immortal. He's up to 20 Banes and uh, 20, uh, 18 Mutas. So we're going to be swinging around the side here as he will try to pick off something. Looks like there's turrets in the goal and a lot of turrets going up at the fourth. So he may be able to get into there before uh, these turrets go up. And yeah, he will be able to do a lot of damage. Only two turrets here. They're going down so fast. Mutas just do so much damage to turrets once you're up to this critical mass, even picking off this third turret and a fourth, and this base is completely nullified for the time being. In fact, it forces Phoenix to move out and bring the uh, Mutas back. Ooh, nice siege up there, forcing a stim, pulling back with those Banes. Very great control there by Idris. So we saw uh, Phoenix having that nice control in the early game, but now it's all about Idris' control here. And we have an engagement here. Banelings sprinting in, picking off all those Marines, and there is nothing left to uh, deal with these Mutas. And uh, ooh, there's the GG from Phoenix. So... Classic uh, Ling Bane muta by uh, Idra there, and just a demonstration of very solid fundamentals. And that was a pretty good game. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Marine Kush. Make sure you check out my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Marine Kush. Hit me up on Twitter or Team Liquid, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.